this should be the problem that you're looking at here. And um, there's just one little thing that's a little different. We have the deltas on the left also. And we did that when we were studying linear stuff. So 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 and 1. They all end up being 1. So that's kind of nice. We don't have to do an extra step. So we can just leave those just like that. And then yesterday, you figured out how to do the deltas um, on the right-hand side. 48 minus 27 is 21. And then 27 minus 12 is 15. This one's 9. This one's 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. This one's negative 9. And this one's negative 15. OK. So because of that, we know that these aren't, in all, aren't all one number. So this must not be a linear pattern. So we'll look a little deeper and check, is it quadratic? And so we'll do the second difference. 21 minus 15 is 6. 15 minus 9 is 6. In fact, all of these end up being 6. So from what we learned yesterday, we know a standard form quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. And we know there's a connection between this second difference and the a. And we know there's a connection between the initial value and the c. So just from the little work we've done, we already know that a, we found out yesterday, that a was always half of the second difference. So if, a is, or if the second difference is 6, a must be 3. And we know that the c is the initial value, which in this case happens to be 0. OK, so if we rewrite this equation, instead of f of x, I'll write y. We could write y equals, instead of a, I'll put 3 x squared plus, I don't know what b is yet, b x plus 0. So it looks like the only thing we've got to figure out is we've got to figure out what is b. Well, to do that, um, we just have to pick an x and a y. And we've got a bunch of them over here. Here's an x and a y. Here's one. Here's one. Let's skip the 0, 0. But these other ones are x and y's also. And you can pick any one you want. Um, except for the initial value. Don't pick the one at 0. OK, so let's pick this one, 1, 3. So my x is going to be 1, my y is going to be 3. And I'm going to plug those in. So if my y is 3, I'm going to write 3 equals, I'm just going to write the rest of this, I have 3. My x, I said, was 1. It's right over here. So 1 squared plus b times my x is 1 plus 0. Now if we just clean that up a little bit, we get 3 equals 3 times 1 squared is just 3, plus b times 1 is just b, and 0 we can just leave off. And then we just subtract 3 from both sides, simple one-step equation, and we end up with b must be 0. We can take that and that b must be 0. We can take that and slide that up here. So now we know what a is, what b is, a is this, b is this, and c is this. So we should be able to write a function that models this table, or find the function that is modeled by this table. So we'd write f of x equals, instead of a, we'd say a is 3. 3x squared, our b is 0, which is 0x, and our c is 0, 0 also. So there's the function that if you type that in, you'll get that table.